the moral missing thread. All right, welcome to or welcome back to the channel, whatever the case may be for you. And joining me again today is Morgan. Say hey. Hello. So we're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna have fun today because uh, you know a lot of people every time. Every time I do a Nightwish or Epica video or both or whatever, always, always more suggestions for more Nightwish. And uh, last time I did a lyric video, uh, you know, I've done a bunch of live videos. We're going to do an actual, like, official music video today. I've gotten a bunch of suggestions for the song Noise. Uh, apparently there's like some kind of message or something to it. So, you know, we're going to, we're going to get crazy and we're going to check that out today and hopefully we'll enjoy it as much as I have enjoyed other things by night wish. And, uh, you have not seen this either. I'm assuming, right? No, I have okay, not. Good. I mean, All like right. I know who night wish is. Cause I mean, I feel like everybody knows who night wish is, but, um, I'm not like a, a fan. Not that I dislike them, but I'm not a fan in the fact that I've seen anything. <laughs> right. That's it's kind of kind of where I was at for a long time. I mean, I I still don't know if I if I would label myself as a fan per se, but I I do have an appreciation for them, their talents. Their I I think they're incredible performers, and I would like to see them live. But like I as I've said in just about every Nightwish video I've done. Uh, I would not go out and purchase their albums. I don't think that could change in the future. I don't, I don't know. I'm not a fucking fortune teller. I actually take that back. My brother uh, sent me, her name's Floor Jansen, right? That's her name. Your brother? He, well, he sent me um, a <laughs> video of her covering um, Let It Go for the kids. So I have seen that, but I'm assuming that's not the one we're doing today. <laughs> no, no. I, I did see that come up on my homepage and I thought about watching it, but um, I hate Frozen and I hate that song. So <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I hate it now. I don't think I would have hate it. I didn't hate it like the first 50 times I heard it, but it's it's gotten to the point that uh, I don't particularly care for it anymore. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I did see on, uh, it was either America's Got Talent or Britain's Got Talent. Uh, this guy came out and he was all excited. He was going to cover, he was going to sing that song. And uh, the judge, Amanda, got super excited because that's like her favorite song ever. And, uh, you know, he just started screaming. You know, he was just in like a death metal voice. It was great. And she got really upset. And it was <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Stuck your spine on the masses tonight for bread to make sign. So after a bunch of technical difficulties and trying to figure stuff out, we got stuff figured out. So uh we're gonna jump into this now. This is the official music video for Nightwish Yay. Noise. <laughs> It's still glitching. And so it was being choppy for you as well. Yeah, and I can't hear it very well. Really? Really? Yeah. yeah. The audio the just audio got real just weird, got weird for, for us. us. 
Like I can yeah. hear me echoing. And then I've, I was trying to turn up the audio on mine, so that probably screwed you up. Does it sound better uh, now? Yes. Okay. okay. Um. Yeah. Is there is there volume on here? I can try to turn it up on the thing itself. Okay. Hopefully it won't won't keep glitching. But uh, all right. Here, so start from the beginning. You want me to start over? Yeah. I don't know. All Whatever right. you want to do. However okay. you want to handle. Hey, we're going to start over with the weird baby thing. Um, yeah, that was weird. The baby. I, I, I don't know. Here we go. Gave me some like Matrix vibes. Okay, so I think this would be like a great maybe Verizon or AT&T commercial. Yeah, they do seem to love their phones. I mean, it, it's, uh, you know, it's starting out as a depiction of society uh, where, you know, people are just preoccupied with their screens. And, and completely self-absorbed. Yeah, that too. As well, uh, the, the, that's definitely I'm pick, definitely picking up on both of those factors. Like everyone is like completely glued to their screens, and well, at least the people we see right now, they're all like, and the people kind of over eccentric at the beginning with you know, but they all had phones in their hands as well, so. I'm assuming they're maybe taking selfies or trying to gain some sort of social media notoriety on some level or something. Maybe they're all on TikTok. I don't know. Maybe Nightwish has a TikTok and this is like the behind the scenes of them filming for their TikTok. Maybe. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. All right. Um. Yeah, we'll keep going. No, they're missing out on the beauty and the art and they're all looking at their screen. Literally, I, I pressed pause like probably 10 seconds ago and it finally paused. Um, okay, so we've got... You know what this... Sorry, yeah. go ahead. Oh, you... This reminds me of, though, and not... I don't really think that like I'm a huge Ted Kaczynski fan, but you know Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber? Right, yeah. He had yeah. that... He had some quote, and I can't really like articulate it. Maybe someone can leave it in the comments, but 
something about us like living in a society which creates conditions for people to be mentally ill and depressed. And then you, we have created antidepressants and you can see all the pills in this. So people can live within this society instead of like changing society. So instead of changing society, because, you know, nobody, you know, basically our society is on people making money now. Right. Um, so that's what this reminds me of kind of the same thing that he was saying because you have all these people that are so engrossed in, you know, their vanity and screens and all of this stuff. And then you got the guy with the pills trying to sell you the medication. I'm assuming I'm well, taking that's it. That's the thing. I, I noticed the pill bottle. I, I, I was, uh, that's the first thing I was thinking was like mental illnesses, like big pharma, like antidepressants, shit like that. That's the first thing that went through my mind. And, I, you know, just people just getting overwhelmed by, like, self-comparison to people they see on social media, you know, how people, like, down themselves because they're constantly trying to compare their insides to other people's outsides, you know. But the pills, it said, like, fat burner or fat away or something like that. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see that. I just assumed antidepressants. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's where I was at. But then I saw that, and then, it, you know, it clipped – to like the multiples of the the very scantily clad young woman like okay yeah you can be this woman you you can look like this with it's like there i i feel like there's a bunch there's multiple messages going on right now and i'm trying to connect them and, and find a way to formulate sentences that make sense because I'm not very good at that. No, um, what, you're, what you said, make I totally didn't even think about it like that. But yeah, because um, uh, you know, you know, young girls are not young girl, but women in general, or even men. I mean, are looking at you know online and seeing these standards of beauty and whatnot, and then you've got the gentleman being able to profit off of that, um, which is. Yeah, I don't know. It's just depicting a very sick society, but we live that we live in. <laughs> currently. Very, very, very sick. I'm at least at least they haven't demonized caffeine yet. Yet. Hopefully they don't, because <laughs> that's that's my that's my vice. I need it to feel good about life and myself. I'm very hyped up on caffeine right now. I, it may not appear so. This is just my usual demeanor, but you know, this is a highly caffeinated demeanor right now. It's not bad. Okay, so I hit pause. I'm waiting on it to pause. Uh, I hit pause again. Let me see. Okay. There we go. All right. So we've got the one 
woman that her screen turned red and she looks up. So like, is she woke? Did she find something on the web that was like, Hey, you need to get off the internet or like, I, I don't know, but like as soon as she, or maybe she discovered some like truth to like something that's hidden or something. I, I don't know. It's, I mean, that's a good thought because they went in to come and get her and they're, they're really, really depicting like, you know, with the, the guy in the bathtub and, and the oil, just this industrial society of how sick that it's become. It's all, you know, everything's manufactured. These people are like not even living their life basically because they right. have the, they're just viewing it. The baby that turns into the guy and then the helmet on there. I get that like, oh, he's not even living. He's not even living his life. He's just viewing it through a screen like and everybody's just viewing everything from their screens. And but you're right, um, because when she, when it did go red, they came in to go get her. Was it like, oh, like we can't have her, you know. Well, if you notice, they were like, at one point, it looked like they were like kicking her and the one dude like kind of jumped out in front and like was taking a selfie with himself doing that. Yeah. Like. Distractions. Well, not only that, I mean, I, I mean, I kind of like I was joking around about TikTok, but like there's so much just awful shit on TikTok. I just watched something today, uh, a YouTube video about uh you know, this kid that was trying to get TikTok famous and was like basically terrorizing his neighbors to the point that for two years and they basically confronted him and he ended up stabbing his neighbor to death. And his girlfriend recorded it and they were going to put it on his, his girlfriend was going to put it on TikTok. It's ridiculous. But there's all these like trends and shit, but it's like you see something awful happening and rather than like trying to do something about it, it's like. Oh, let me film it. Yeah. It's, let me see if it'll go viral. Yes. I mean, I think that's one of many messages that's like happening here in this video oh. in this song. Um, and then just dehumanizing people, you know, exactly. uh, which which the social media, the internet, all of that. Um, I definitely feel like it, it, it contributes to that because we're not, you know, we're having less of face-to-face, -face, you know, connections, in-person connections, real life connections, things like that. We're, we're just so engrossed into, you know, everything that's online. And uh, it's, it's funny because like the other night or at work, um, you know, I, I went on break and I went outside to, you know, vape and there is probably maybe 10 other people out there. And I looked around, you know, I was just sitting there and, you know, I wasn't on my phone or anything. I was just kind of like thinking about a bunch of shit and it, it finally like hit me. I was like looking around at everybody and like there was, it was dead silent Nobody was interacting. Nobody was talking. Every single person was sitting there staring at their phone, just like it looked just like in this video. It's like there was no, no talking, just dead silence and like 10 people staring at their phones. Yeah. It was, it was, it was kind of a surreal moment. And if I really, really think about it, I'm sure there have been plenty instances in my life, like where I've been places and looked around and made that realization before, but um, it's creepy a little bit. Yeah. You know, it's like, we're so disconnected and disassociate so hard. Yep. And become just kind of zombies with our, our phones. And then you see it with this. I would just want to mention the, the woman and her daughter, you know, um, parading her daughter around and taking the pictures and, mm -hmm. you know, the fake smile the daughter was, was trying to do for the pictures for her mom and, you know, very shallow. Very, very. Uh, it's just so much of that. Yeah. All right. So we're going to, I'm going to push play on the stage.
now he's all grown up now. Yeah. He hasn't even been living his life, just watching it. Okay. D uh, what? I thought I figured some out for a second, but I was like, I don't think I was right. It's got it's got some strong, you know, Matrix idea vibes as far as. Oh, there's just that same symbol from uh the last night's Nightwish video I watched. I didn't recognize the symbol, but yeah, just living like the, they're just living virtual, they're living virtually and they're, they're out in the woods with all that beauty and everything there and the woods and the nature, but they're just not living at all. It's kind of depressing. It's a really depressing uh, video when you think about it. And um, I don't, I'm not overly familiar with Nightwish at all. So, um, and I don't um, dislike the music, Um I feel like it's for people that like, I don't know. It reminded me of like, I guess it's very theatrical. Very, uh, very theatrical. Yes. Which I talked about last time. I don't mind um, the theatrics in, in music and, and the art bringing in so much more than just the music. Um, I'm not sure if I would listen to it in the car or anything like that, but this was definitely thought provoking and entertaining. Yeah, I, I I will I will agree uh, on that. Definitely, definitely thought provoking for sure. But yeah, the the song, I I don't want to say that I didn't like it because like there were elements of it that I liked. I wasn't Same really here. feeling. Yeah. I wasn't feeling the whole thing. Like I have other Nightwish songs. Uh, there was that one heavy kind of more riffy part that was really cool. When they was in the bathtub with the oil. Yeah, I yeah. liked that part too. And then it, you know, it got kind of like more epic toward the end. And I liked that to a degree. Um, but yeah, it, it, it didn't have, it didn't carry the same weight that like other Nightwish songs have for me. But it wasn't bad. Like, um, if it came on somewhere, like I wouldn't be upset, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be like, Oh, I don't want to hear this. I you would know, be, I, I would be curious to, to look up the lyrics to this song. I'm a big lyric person. I could not, there's too much going on. And I, I really couldn't, um, hear exactly what she was singing, but I would be curious to see what the lyrics are to this video. For oh, sure. hold, hold on. I, that's, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to do that right now. Gonna, Look at the um, lyrics. Yeah. Hold on. Let me uh... give us maybe because there was a lot of stuff that was really obvious, I think, symbolism wise. But then there was some stuff that I just couldn't figure out exactly what they were um, trying to convey. Yeah. Yeah. No, I totally I totally get you on that. Um, I was kind of in the same boat. I'm like, wait, this could mean. Twitter. Um, crave the machine, revere the screen, zoom in for flack and misery, bleed some pixels, shoot yourself, pose for the dead, have a near life experience in a hot air matrix. Wow. Okay. Um, now you're a star vain avatar feeding the beast in your loud ego land. Um, you have become 
tool of a tool, digital ghouls telling you to shut up and dance. Color a yarn and the crowds will gather. Noise from the sunless world. Your mirror is black. Only a copy stares back at a slave of a brave new world. Noise to decoy the human voice, brain insomniac, paranoiac, endless noise. Please love me. See how I bleed. Please endure. I have much empathy in me. Hum, noise, hum. Beautifully numb. Tapping the quiet air to have a meaning. By a carry-on. Sad hologram. Lost in the maze. The real and human feel. Sunset is free from this deity. The earth has a real... Oh, there's more. Has a real voice. Go out and get in. Color a yarn and the crowds will gather. Noise from the sunless world. Your mirror is black. Only a copy steers back. And a slave of a brave new world. Okay, this must be the chorus. Noise to decoy the human voice. Brain insomniac. Paranoiac. Is that a word? Endless noise. Feast your eyes on the black mirror. Feed the beast. I wonder if this song was like inspired by Black Mirror. Because the, they said black not, mirror like i've not seen that me either but i i mean i i you know, it's I definitely that... it's definitely calling out social media instagram facebook which i don't disagree with any of that honestly um i do think that we that we as society have gotten um quite addicted to social media um oh i know i'm stupid addicted to it and like i don't even really get any <laughs> validation from it it's not like you know i've got thousands of followers who like hang on my every post or that i get like tons of likes or comments or anything i mean sometimes i'll post something that i think is like hilarious you know or just something that i think is really cool or you know just post about something going on in my life and you know i'll get like three likes and usually you're one of you're you're like the first and one of the only people who like my shit. I I uh, I have I well I built I've built up my social media a little bit um, for I've always everybody's going to hate me now, but um, I've always worked in sales. And so I've always used social media as um, a networking tool. I know a lot of people within you know, my field and my peers do the same. So I think that does have some practical um, uses, but it can get really unhealthy for some people for sure. Um, and even in this, they show the guy trying to sell the pills. So, you know, it, it, it sells too. Um, but you do, especially I, you know, the, the mom thing, you know, there are the, the fakeness sometimes of like moms and, you know, they pay for these professional photos and everybody looks happy. Kids are happy. You know, let me just, you know, plaster it on, make sure everybody knows that we're happy and we've got this nice car and we've got this big house. And, you know, it's, it is, it is a, um, definitely a sanctuary for narcissists for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I, or, you know, just, Maybe not even so much. Uh, not saying everybody that uses social media is a narcissist. Not saying that. I'm right, saying but it, it's it's a it's a it's a breeding ground for narcissists. Uh, have a lot of of fun on there. Um, right, it's a, it's, it's a way for them to to do what they do best um, and not have to. They don't feel so it doesn't matter. Yeah, and I think it's also it, it's it's a great way for people to be able to create facades. And, you know, have this life outside of how their life actually is, you know, to make people, I, I don't know, I, I guess to, to win over people, to make people think that they're someone that they're not like, you know, uh, that they're more successful, that they have more friends, that they're uh, not miserable and dying inside, you know, it's like. Both me and you, though, make posts mm -hmm. about how we're miserable and dying on inside. People yeah, are like concerned like, about us. It's like, no, we're just being honest. Y'all yeah. aren't being honest. <laughs> yeah, it's like. Because <laughs> yeah. you're living in the same world we are. So I know you're not being honest. Right. <laughs> it's like, we're just we're just not hiding. 
like right. and yeah. and we're we're using dark humor to cope with the misery that exactly we are surrounded um i really wish i had another one of these uh zero sugar cherry coke energy drinks because this is delicious and um i can't I drink caffeine i've got that awful panic disorder oh and, me too uh, I can't, I can't do caffeine. If I drink like the littlest bit of caffeine, I'm at like, my pulse is at like 180 and I can't get it down. And it's just like, my adrenaline is like, "Ah!" and I'm like, "Ah!" so I just, I haven't had caffeine in like 10 years. I cannot handle it. Wow. Yeah. It's like instant heart attack. See, I tried to quit caffeine a few years ago and um, it was like right before my eye surgery. And um, I had asked the retina colleagist, you know, he asked me, because we were trying to figure out why my detet- my retina is detached from my eyes, like why I went blind. And, uh, you know, was, he's like, has there even been any major changes, any like accidents, anything? What? I was like, well, the only thing recently is I, I've gotten these like severe crippling migraines and they just came out of nowhere. And, we finally made the connection after I was trying to figure out what could have caused that. Uh, you know, I was like, well, I just recently stopped drinking caffeine. And he was like, well, how often were you drinking caffeine before that? I was like, all, all day, every day. And he was like, okay, well, there's, there's your migraines. He was like, you're going through caffeine withdrawal. He's like, go drink some caffeine. Yeah. So, uh, That'll yeah. Do it to you. So, uh, I, I was terrified of those kinds of migraines again because it got to the point where like i i couldn't like walk i couldn't do anything and i i don't know if i can attribute that to my going blind or not but you know it happened at the same time so you know traumatization and everything so uh now i just still drink caffeine excessively which doesn't help the mania with you know bipolar disorder and everything but um it's fun. Helps headaches. Yeah, it's all. It's all that matters. Um. Yeah, this is a. Uh, There's a lot of uncomfortable truths. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because I mean, was... I spend far too. I, I spend far too much time on my phone, so it makes me feel yeah. like. Ugh. Yeah. Right. It kind of, it kind of makes out. you feel a little icky inside. <laughs> yeah, it does. Because you think about it, 10 years ago, it wasn't like that. I don't, no. I mean, there was MySpace, but MySpace was like, so, I don't know. Awesome. I feel like no, this, it, the past decade, this has become so prevalent in everybody's life. And especially yeah. now with 2020, where it's like everybody, everything virtual. And as someone, like I, so, I have terrible social anxiety and i very rarely leave my house to be perfectly honest um i just thrive with the ability to be able to connect with people still and not have to you know make eye contact (laughs) you know it's great but um but i i still maintain i don't know how healthy that is for anyone including myself yes this video the song it was uh this was good I, i i can't i can't say anything negative about it it has sparked a very uh interesting conversation i think not only between us but just in general to anyone who has taken the sin and like really thought about it um but i think as for us we we need to we need to do another video and we need to we need to jump into uh either a our comfort zone and do something like either black metal, death metal, or thrash metal, or depressive suicidal black metal, some atmospheric black metal. We need to do like something that's not symphonic metal, and or we need to do something that just like neither of us have like any any familiarity with on any level, like just something random and weird that neither of us have ever heard of and or, or both i mean not in the same video i mean we can yeah do both of those things 
like a different genre outside of metal are you thinking maybe i i I don't know so here here's a quick a quick word from our sponsor hey damien i really love your videos and i would like to show my support for your channel do you have any cool shirts i could purchase maybe a patreon could you put links in the description please thanks bro Thank you everyone uh, again for watching and I hope that you got something out of that song and video and our uh, banter within said video. Uh, My speech, my brain right now, between that video and the amount of caffeine that I've had, I am functioning all kinds of fucked up. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll have a really bad caffeine crash and go to sleep in a little bit. I don't know, but thanks for watching. Thanks for continuing to support the channel. If you are a returning person and, you know, check out the description for links to other fun stuff and until the next video. Oh, and thanks again, Morgan for joining me and uh, good people of the interweb.